Hey guys, it's I Stole Your Bacon and Boar BBQ. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we got some Outlast here and. Um. I'm gonna set it to there. Let's make sure our graphics are very high. They're all on. I've seen some gameplays of this game before and my gosh, I almost had a heart attack. I'll tell you uh, what. It should be fun. <laughs> Pick this up in the Steam Autumn sale. Yeah, buddy. The Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said changing weather patterns were to blame for livestock. So if you haven't seen this game before, you're basically a reporter doing a story on a Abandoned insane asylum of all things. And some strange things happen. Very cliche asylum in the middle of the woods. No cell reception. Radio just went out. Our car is almost empty. The security monitor is on, so we know there's a electricity at least. It looks like a game where you pick up a lot of journal pieces. Okay, so I guess this reporter's going there because doctors are doing some kind of therapy that's wrong or something. And I'm supposed to expose it, but I have a feeling it's not going to go as planned. <laughs> it looks like you, um... Yeah, it's one of those video uh, camcorder uh, based game. No. <laughs> the night vision involved, which leads me to believe <sighs> some dark things are going to happen. Yeah, this is, this is not going to Going into the security office to see what's going down. Very low resolution monitors. What the heck? And our guy is already breathing heavy. Man, he's out of shape. What? Looks like we're driving a Jeep. Mount Massive Asylum. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal of government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off by abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. 
I feel like my voice for the reporter. Hey, man. Hey, man. Yeah, I thought I'd give him that kind of like rough edge PI type thing. Never a good sight at a asylum. <laughs> the door appears to be locked. <clears throat> Multiple armored vehicles. I don't like that much. <laughs> <laughs> This is a game where you can see your feet. <laughs> I can't jump on my own. Graphically, this game looks pretty good. I mean, it's not the best that I've seen, but most certainly not the worst. What the heck was that? Did you see? That was me. I was like, why did stepping up on a table make me do that? <laughs> like, oh, a table! <laughs> I'm always used to E being activated, so I don't know. I, I want to read this book. Wait, what was that? Nothing. Wait, what? Oh, another thing. Always look for bad Yeah, I know. There's <laughs> going to be a guy. <laughs> what? 
Your skills are supreme. Carl Houston. <laughs> uh, progressed self-directed lucid dreams. Reminds me of college. Hello? <laughs> I am Baco. I bring you the pizza. Okay. Looks like the bathroom is uh, occupied at the moment. Um, I need to take a shower. You've been in here for three hours. <laughs> ah, cola. I don't like that sound. Open the door! This is not Max Payne. The, the glass like a badass. We open the door. <laughs> yeah. He just jumps out and and runs. Oh. Oh, still gonna jump. <laughs> Alright, not exactly what I was thinking. Where'd he go? Looks like somebody had a uh, Mexican food.
little fake. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Uh, uh, ah. Wow, just that noise of him getting up scared me. Footprints, though. Oh, wow. It's nice to see a first person game where you can see your feet. Uh, I'm gonna spend the whole game just walking around making your footprints with blood. I thought you we were supposed to be taking the calls. This guy's been on hold for an hour. <laughs> you are just stay up. Stay in one place. Blah blah blah, we're satisfied.
I can't even change the... Okay, let's try that. It's a little better. Looks the same to me, but... I'm as blind as a bat. Okay. Now. <laughs> I believe you have to go uh, downstairs now. Oh. Of course, going downstairs is always the logical option yeah, in these types of situations. Of course, the what anybody would do would shut the door really loud. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. How are you going, guys? You out of a battery. All oh, right. And now I'm gonna open the door, and the guy's gonna be like. Whoa. <laughs> no, he's gonna lunge out at me. Witness. <laughs> Great, I have to go in here. <gasps> oh, okay. At least there's toilet paper. Gimp, where'd he go? Ah. Oh, I remember this. 
this part. I don't like this part. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He has a nice firm buttocks. The big fucker is stalking me. Alright, so we got the big fucker. Now we are in a basement sewer area, which of course always makes it feel more comfortable in these like, situations. <sighs> Hypnotic experimentation and research. Hmm. Psycho... not... not... notic. There's somebody in here. No, but the guy's gonna come running when he hears me shut it up.
under the bed. <laughs> to find me under the bed. Ooh. Base mat. Ba <laughs> I got my base mat. <laughs> Baseball McGee over here. And I think uh, I think with that we are going to uh, wrap up the first episode. All right. <laughs> you know, like maybe comment. You know, this is going on YouTube. I don't know. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, drop a subscribe on us. We're uh, baking here, you know, I'm just here along for a ride. For BBQ. For BBQ, that's right. I don't have a channel, don't look me up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, outlast. <laughs>